Hi students, good morning. Now we are going to solve all the multiple choice questions given in the textbook exercises in the first chapter in class 11, namely nature of physical world and measurement. Now the first question is, one of the following combinations from the fundamental physical constants is H C by capital G. The unit of the expression is to be determined. Okay. Now this small h, small c and capital G are fundamental physical constants it is mentioned. Now this h is called as Planck's constant. Max Planck's constant. And it is having the dimensions. Okay. It is having the dimensions of m l square t power minus 1 energy into time okay it is having the dimensions of energy into time okay next c is the velocity of light a small c so this is a velocity of a light whether it is velocity of your car or velocity of your person or light it is having the same dimension only. So that is what L t power minus 1. So this is the dimension of velocity of a light. And capital G is universal gravitational constant. So this is a gravitational constant. And its dimension is m power minus 1 L cube t power minus 2. So, all these dimensions you will have to keep in your memory. Okay. So, we are going to use the dimensions of a Planck's constant h and velocity of light c, gravitational constant g in the above expression. So, what, is, what will be the unit of the expression we want to find out. So, this h c by capital G Instead of Planck's constant h, the dimensions are m l square t power minus 1. So, m l square t power minus 1 I have substituted first. Okay. Instead of the velocity of light c, I am going to substitute into l power 1 t power minus 1. So, this is l power 1 t power minus 1. Whole divided by m power minus 1 for gravitational constant I am substituting m power minus 1 L cube T power minus 2. So some of the powers get cancelled and readjusted you see here. So totally here m power how much we will write that this is equal to. So this is equal to totally m raised to the power. I will write below this. So this is now equal to m raised to the power here 1 and uh, there is no other term here here there is minus 1 so totally if it comes up means it will become m power 1 plus 1 so this is m square m power 1 is in the numerator this m power minus 1 will shift to the numerator as m power 1 so totally i have written m power 2 okay now l here l term what are all the powers let us see now here l square is there here l power 1 so l power 3 is it not it is l power 3. So, this is uh, L power 3 I will write. Then, uh, this L power 3, L cube is in the denominator which is coming up as minus 3. So, L power 3 minus 3. Then, T raised to the power. T raised to the power. In the numerator, T power minus 1 into T power minus 1. That, uh, that will give you T power minus 2. So, first I will write T power minus 2 in the numerator. And in the denominator also, T power minus 2 is there. It is coming up as t power plus 2. Okay. So, this is plus 2. So, this is now equal to this L power 3 minus 3 is L power 0. So, this is a t power 0. So, this is a m square. Okay. m square and L power 0 t power 0. So, this will be the resulting dimensional formula. So, it is uh, the dimension of what a mass, mass raised to the power 2. So what should be the given quantity here, the unit of the expression, what should be the corresponding unit. So corresponding unit, okay, 
must be equal to mass the whole square therefore it must be kilogram square so which of the four option you see here first option itself is correct so therefore no option a is correct okay option a is the answer have you understood okay now the second one is if the error in the measurement of radius is a 2% then the error in the determination of a volume of the sphere a sphere is having a radius r first you measure the radius by some instrument you commit some error with the percentage of 2% so definitely the volume will be error only so what is the percentage error in the volume we have to find out so for that volume of sphere first of all okay volume of a sphere so this volume of the sphere v is equal to 4 by 3 pi into r cube 4 by 3 pi r cube now we have studied the rules uh, to calculate the percentage error is it not that so there uh, radius is raised to the power 3 so now the percentage error in volume is given by delta v divided by v into 100 okay this is equal to this 4 by 3 is constant so this is 3 times the percentage error so this is 3 times what delta r by r into 100 so this is the rule okay rule is n if n is the power means n times the percentage error in the given quantity so this is 3 times the percentage error in the radius. So this must be equal to what? 3 into, here it is a 2%. So this is equal to 6%. This is the answer. So which of the four options you see here? Option D is the answer, okay? Therefore, option D is the correct answer. Have you understood? Okay, fine.